Let's solve a major time suck for editing videos. If you do lots of talking head tutorials or cutting down live streams, then this video is for you. I'm Rafael and welcome to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about Timebolt, which is one of my go-to little applications that saves so much time when it comes to editing talking heads, interviews, courses, presentations, live streams, just by taking your video clip and dragging it and dropping it onto Timebolt. So this is real time, I'm just gonna let it go. It analyzes the audio and removes all the silent spaces from your video. And there we go, about 10 seconds and it's done a 40 minute clip, which it now has reduced by 14 and a half minutes. And I can go through it and I can watch it and preview it. So if it play, it will only play the green portion. Secret. Here's one secret weapon that most you editors... And this is also great for podcasts or reducing live streams, the silences in live streams. So if you do podcasts, you can just drop an audio file into here and it'll do the exact same thing. And then just finesse it uh, and export a file directly from this and then upload it to your podcast. But again, the way I use it is mainly for interviews, talking heads, my tutorials, and, and other long format videos, which have lots of silences in it. Because seriously, this is the alternative. Going through and removing all those little silences, even before we start the edit. And this clip is 40 some odd minutes long. So if I had to do this, and I've done this plenty of times over my career, now the fact that it is done automatically is such a time saver and I love it. This is similar to the online service Descript where you can upload audio files, video files, or you can do screen recording. But the biggest issue with Descript was that you have to upload your videos. And for me, some of my raw videos are 30, 40 gigs, and that's just one clip. Sometimes I have multiple clips and doing this over and over again, I love that Timebolt is actually on the computer. So no uploading, it does all the processing on the computer. It also allows you to filter below a certain sound level. You can adjust that. You can remove silences longer than a certain amount of time or ignore detection shorter than a certain amount of time. And you can add padding before and after the clip and you can change all these parameters. So my workflow is I put in the file and then I export it and you can export to FCP XML or just a regular XML. The FCP is Final Cut Pro XML. So once it's done all the detection, you don't have to do anything else. You just click export. It makes an export to the same place that you have your file. And then we're just gonna open up Final Cut. And all this happens really fast. Open up Final Cut Pro, go to File, go to Import, and then XML, and select the XML that you exported from Timebolt. Click Import. A new project comes in, double click it, and there are all the edits from that one video clip. And it's removed all those spaces. And just to show you, I'm gonna grab the original clip and put it underneath. So that's the amount of silences that it was able to remove. Now you don't need to have Final Cut or Premiere. You, you can do a lot of the editing work right in here. You can go in, add selections back. There's a whole keyboard shortcuts to allow you to add new edits and turn off and deselect sections that, that you notice above and beyond. You can do it where it won't remove the silent spaces. You can actually have it where it'll fast forward those sections. So if someone's drawing on a board and there isn't anything happening, this allows you to fast forward through those sections until the person starts talking again. You can add transitions as well, and you can add background music. And all you do is you add to the render queue and you can render the entire video. So if it was a live stream or a presentation, you can export a video and you can post it right to YouTube. I prefer using the XMLs either to Final Cut or to Premiere or DaVinci, depending on what you wanna do. But you can also export the clips individually. Just know that all this will take time processing, which is, which is okay if you don't wanna be doing any of the editing. But again, I prefer having everything in Final Cut where I can add in graphics, the music, I can edit, I can add B-roll. I just like having that flexibility. But it saves me so much time just going through it and not having to manually remove these edits. 
because the amount of time that it used to take to remove all these silences was slow and it was painful. So I'm very grateful for this app. Now, just to be clear, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this app fully. I just wanted to share with you the time saving features that this app can provide. Now, this app does offer a lot more than I'm talking about because uh, again, I use it for the XML export because I want to have the control. They do have a free version, which is video only, but it will be watermarked and you there is no XML export but they have a, a subscription model as well. They have three paid versions. I chose to do the one-time buyout of this app. This is a tool that I use weekly and I see myself using it quite extensively over the next several years. So this is a small price to pay for the amount of time I'll be saving doing all that grunt work that I used to do, removing all the silences just so I can get to the creative part of editing. So one of the things that helps the application is turning on the auto normalization, noise reduction, and the volume increase. By clicking these three, it'll increase the volumes so the application can analyze the audio much better. This won't affect the final output, it just allows the application to work. If you change anything on the settings page, you have to restart the app. So again, I'm just gonna Drop it in, and this is real time. It's analyzing the audio of a 40 minute clip, and it goes through it, and it's removing all the silences. It's doing its magic, and there, it is done. And then just click export and import it in, and we're done. That's how fast removing 15 minutes of silence from a 40 minute clip can be. So if you're doing this constantly where you're removing those silences, it's a great way to save yourself hours and hours of time over the course of a year, if not more. One of the things that did kind of strike me at the beginning was when I did this, it felt like I was editing backwards because all the silences have already been removed. So it just goes from talking to talking to talking. So I had to find the best clips, which is usually the last take that most people do, go through it, find the last take that was good, remove everything before the next last take. And it actually speeds up the whole process of editing. It allows you to get to the core of the content. This is an app that you should at least check out to see if it's for you. And for everyone and all the developers that worked on this app, I just wanna say thank you for making a kick-ass application that, it, that is going to save lots of people lots of time. Make sure you give this video a like to let YouTube know to share it with other people that may benefit from it. Also, I live stream on my second channel where I deep dive on the creative process as well as freelance financials. So make sure you check that out. As always, fix it in camera and then finesse it in post. Thanks for watching.